Hello friends, this is Harish Bali from technofair.com. There are many apps that help you make notes and capture ideas. But my personal favorite on task management is Google Keep. It has really made me more productive at work. You can access the web version by going to keep.google.com. Plus there's an app for Android and iOS. Here I am on the web version. Record your thoughts or to do activities in notebox and it expands as you start jotting down your notes. Here is a note with title important task for Monday. Go shopping for office stationery three items below. Add an image to the note. I have one on my desktop. Let me put Bluetooth speaker image on top of the note. Choose a color for the note to stand out. From these three dots here, add a label or create one. Since this note is with regard to buying, I can add a buy label. Note or task to be done can easily be shared with multiple people from the share menu. Simply enter the Google mail ID of the person with whom you wish to share the note or the task and save it. Here is another note that a shopping list for grocery. Show check boxes against each cart. Put them under buy label and access it from any device. Let me now take a break for a minute and ask my colleague to reply on the shared note with list of more items on the office stationery. Here I am on the app version of my Android device and I can see that my colleague has added few more items to the office stationery. Any one of us can add check boxes to the list. Move the cards up or down by dragging these little icons before the check box. Since this is with regard to buying, let me put this under the buy label. When I am actually at the store doing shopping, I can open keep and hit the buy label and see the notes flowing in from various shopping list, office or home grocery. It's easy to handle. This is a shared note for office stationery. If I buy something, tap on the check box, card moves to the bottom with a strike through. Similar strike through happens when the other person does the same action. So it's like two or more people working on the same list and being able to see each other's action on a real time basis on their mobile devices. Set a reminder to a task from this finger with an arrow at the top. You can set reminders for future time and date or set a location based reminder, which means Google Keep will remind you of a task when you reach a particular location. For some reason, if you don't see reminder notification on your device, check whether Google Keep notifications under settings of your device is enabled or not. How about creating hands-free notes on your Android device? Say OK Google or touch the microphone button and speak out your note. For this feature to work, your OK Google voice detection should be working. I have done a tutorial on this. Have shared a link of the same in description below. On the home screen, I say OK Google, take a note. Family dinner on 23rd at 8 p.m. Gurgaon. Okay, saving. Note is saved. How about creating a list with voice notes? Speak out. Okay, Google. Create a list. Go ahead. What's on the list? Rice. What's next? Sugar. What else? Carry on speaking and save your list. Let me now create couple of more notes and show you few search options. Down here below is a note with the word productivity. I can simply search for that word and pull out that note easily. Not just that, if you click on search icon on an app or search box on the web, it opens various categories under which notes are grouped like types, labels, things, people and color. You may want to have a look at all the red notes in one go for me. Red signifies urgent things. You may access important notes on top of the screen by pinning them. If you are driving or moving between classes, don't have sufficient time to type. Google Keep has an option to record your voice notes and convert them into text. Android and iOS users can create voice notes by tapping on the microphone at the bottom of a note and speak out. What's your opinion about Google Keep? Question mark. Would you like to use it? That's how easy it was for the app to convert voice notes to text. You may not want to keep everything right here on the home screen. So app offers archive functions to store notes. You may choose to select notes and put multiple notes under the archive also. If a note is deleted, it will remain in trash for seven days. Thereafter, it will be permanently deleted. Let me share few more tips. Google Keep has an option to grab the text from an image. So you don't need a separate 
app or a software to perform OCR function. If you are doing some research on the web and want to make some notes about it, you can do that directly from the web page by using Google Keep extension. Highlight the text that you want to copy, click on the extension icon on the Chrome browser and see the title and the highlighted text saved as a note on Google Keep. In the description of the video, I have mentioned how to reach out and install this extension. If you want Google Keep Notes to appear under Google Calendar, you can look at Task under My Calendar on left and switch to Reminders. You will need to toggle between Task and Reminder and after some time, it will start picking up your Reminders of Google Keep. Another bonus tip, if you are using Gmail Inbox, you can set Reminders to Google Keep by clicking on this plus icon on the bottom right create a quick reminder, choose a date and time and save it. Some of the cool features that I like about Google Keep are online collaboration, grab text from an image and sync across all devices on a real time basis. How was that? I would surely recommend you to give it a try and I'm sure you would love to use it. If you found this tutorial good, give it a thumbs up. Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links that you see in front of your screen. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.